Hey everyone, I'm Katie from Addicted to DIY and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a farmhouse console table. This farmhouse console table is a great build if you're just getting started in woodworking or you're looking to add inexpensive furniture to your home. In total, I spent about $40 on lumber and used a piece of leftover plywood to make the bottom shelf. To get started, I cut all of the lumber down to size on my miter saw. Once the pieces were cut, I pre-drilled all of the pocket holes needed for the build. I assembled the sides of the table first. I glued and clamped the 2x2 pieces in place, setting the top piece flush with the tops of the table legs and the bottom piece 3.5 inches up from the bottom of the legs. I attached the pieces with 2.5 inch pocket screws. There wasn't enough space for my impact driver to drive the screws into the bottom pieces, so I used my trusty offset bit, which I'll link to in the description below. It's an inexpensive gadget that's worth its weight in gold for these tight spaces. Once the sides were assembled, I began building out the base of the console. I first attached the 2x2 two two top and bottom stretchers to the front of the base, using glue and 2.5 inch pocket screws. Next, I attached the back 1x2 stretchers. These are set so that they are flush with the inside face of the legs. I attached these with wood glue and 1 and a quarter inch pocket screws. The back of the table is made up of 1x6 boards for a vertical shiplap look. I added glue to the 1x2 stretchers, then nailed the boards in place with 1 and a quarter inch brad nails. I evenly spaced the top 2x2 two two supports and then attached them with glue and 2.5 and inch pocket screws. For the plywood shelf on the bottom, I grabbed a scrap piece of plywood, cut it down to size, and then drilled pocket holes on all four edges.
The shelf should be a tight fit, so it may need a little persuasion with a mallet to get it to fit into place. The top face of the shelf should be flush with the top of the stretchers on the bottom of the table. I clamped it in place, then attached it with one and a quarter inch pocket screws. For the X on the lower portion of the table, I realized quickly that I should have measured and marked it before adding the backboards to the table. I used a square to mark the angles, which ended up working, but there were a few trial and error moments that made this take a little longer than planned. Once the X was cut down to size, I nailed it in place with one and a quarter inch brad nails. You can fill these nail holes with wood filler, but I wanted to maintain a rustic look, so I just left them. To attach the tabletop, I had set the top boards on the console and marked two holes per board into each of the 2x2 supports, then drilled countersunk holes to help me attach them later. You can finish this table however you like. I personally love the two-toned look, so I sprayed the base with latex paint. The color I used is Swiss Coffee. If you'd like to get a better tutorial on how to use this paint sprayer, check out my video on refinishing furniture. For the top, I stained it in golden oak stain and then applied three coats of polyurethane and a satin finish. Once everything was dry, I clamped the boards in place for the top and attached them to the base using two and a half inch wood screws. The original version of this table sells for over $250 in stores. I modified the original version to be a bit longer at 4 feet wide and spent about $40 in lumber to build it. It's a great beginner project that doesn't require a bunch of special tools and you can build it from start to finish in just a weekend. Make sure that you click the link in my description below so that you can download the free printable plans for this project and also get the step-by-step -step photos. For more tutorials just like this one, make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I've also queued up a couple extra videos that I think you might enjoy. Thanks so much for watching.